Right now is just peak time for photographers, right? Think about this. You got holiday parties, you got events, and you're probably culling through hundreds, if not thousands of images, sending them out by Google Drive or Dropbox or maybe WeTransfer, waiting for your clients to decide in which images they want and you have to curate all this. It's a lot of backend work. This site will A, make your images look a lot better, more professional, and it's very easy for your clients to decide what images they want and that makes your work a lot easier. It's called Pick Time. Let's talk about this. Full disclosure, this video is brought to you by PickTime, but I actually use this service for me as a content creator. Now, I don't necessarily do event photography. I have done professional work in the past with Hugo Boss and various different car brands. But as a content creator, I use it a little bit of a different way, and I'll walk you through that in a bit. But if you're a photographer and it's peak time for you and you're looking for something easier, let's talk about how this can help you. By the way, there's a Black Friday promotion going on. We'll talk about that later on as well. If I'm testing a lens or a camera and I think it's worthwhile to show these images, I'll actually put that link below my YouTube video. So you, as you're you know, watching the video going, well, I'd like to see that image in full resolution or at least larger resolution than what's on YouTube, you can click and see that image. And that's what I'm doing with this. So let's go into the Q3 monochrome first. As you can see, I've got 394 views in the last 30 days. I posted a link for the Q3 monochrome and the Vivo, which are doing quite well on the channel. So that's where the views are coming from. But let's click on here to the Q3 monochrome for a second. I can create this mobile or desktop, mind you, in a very artistic, beautiful way. So I can create my cover photo, the title, the background text, however I wanna do that. Then I upload my media here. Now I've got about 40 different images that I've taken with this. Some of them are in the YouTube video, some are not because I don't put every single image in there, but I can show them here. So if you are interested in this camera per se and you wanna see the you know proof of performance, this will be a great guide for you. Then from there, I go into the gallery setup. So here's where I can actually have an online store if I wanna sell these, but they're just sample images. For me, you probably don't wanna buy my images, but if you're a professional photographer or event photographer, wedding, this might be a great way to sort of help sell those images as well, make some extra coin, and it makes it very easy to set up. But I can give a sneak peek on the profile, on the portfolio, SEO optimized as well, AI search engine for galleries visitors. So if they're looking for something in particular, keywords, you can label that and that's inside there for them to search if they wanna do that. Then here's where you can allow uh, free high-res downloads, free high-res websites downloads. You can do watermarks if you wanna do that, which I do. So just in case somebody wants to download it, it my watermark is there, all that's in play. Then obviously, if you want to get into more of the sales aspect of it, you've got early bird discounts, expiration promos, all this stuff, which I don't do. But if you want to do this with your work or start to do this with your work, PickTime is a great platform for that. Then obviously you have vendors, then your sharing portfolio here. So you can actually, you know, give a link that everybody can see, or you can actually, you know, have a, a secured link for, you know, existing clients. Let's say you're taking some photos of an, an event that's NDA or embargoed. You can upload it here, give them that secure link so nobody else can see it. And then from there, they can choose what images they want. Then, but let me preview the gallery for you so you have an idea of what this looks like. So I can expand this image, make it a bit larger here within the gallery, right? Then also I can like it. I can send it by email, Facebook, no Instagram as of yet, but I think it's due to the size of the images and how it would constrain onto the Instagram might be a bit more challenging. But I have options here. So if you're a photographer, you're uploading hundreds of images and it uploads relatively fast, right? You can actually have that there and they can just favorite what they like. And that lets you know exactly what images that you need to work on. And then from there, you can present those and it just makes your workflow a lot easier versus them setting, well, I like image 12574, 12576, 12922. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? It's very convoluted. This makes it easier. And there you go. I mean, it's really nice. You can see all the detail here. I mean, when you click on an image, it's beautiful in size. It just makes it so much nicer to see, right? So I have this ISO 200,000. So if you really want to see what it looks like at ISO 200,000, you couldn't see it on YouTube as well, compression, et cetera. Now you look at this image and you go, ah, that's what it is. Gotcha. Let me go to the Vivo X200 Ultra X300 Pro. Now, I, I mean, this is a really great way to show proof of performance for mobile phone photography. This is pretty astounding. The phone takes beautiful images. If, let's say you want to do a little bit of a montage to share to your client. You've got a nice slideshow that you can share with them, which they're going to appreciate. And I've uploaded a ton of images for this, um, this portion of it. So you can see everything. But look at the detail that you have here. Like this watch, I can see the detail in the dial, everything. It's absolutely beautiful.
it's just another nice way to showcase your work. And as a content creator, if you're in this space like I am in photography, if you want to give that extra leg up for people to see your work, they can trust your work, they know the type of photography that you take and the kind of photos that you can take out of a respective lens or camera, this is a beautiful way to do this. And I've had people message me directly saying they really appreciate this link because now it helps them make that decision if they want to buy that lens or camera, what have you, or that phone. So you can take your gallery or whatever, embed it into your website. And then from there, it, it's integrated more so than just having it on pick time. Now I use it as pick time as its own sort of platform. But as I build my website over the next couple of months, I'm going to be integrating these galleries so I can have everything inside there. And awesome. you also have mobile phone access. So you can actually access the galleries and et cetera inside the app. Now the app isn't as full featured as what you're seeing right here, but it's also really good. So I created this art gallery, for example, let's say you want to sell images. These are just samples, right? Now these are images I've taken when I was in Kyoto, when I was in Indonesia. And these are nice images that some people might want to buy, or they can get various different sizes. You can set that all up in there, frame sizes, what kind of frame, everything. You can really customize this to your heart's content. There's just so much there. I want to create a natural wrap canvas. I want to do a black frame. I want to do semi-gloss. I want to do a decal print. I mean, you have everything here at your fingertips. PickTime is a great, great service. I personally use them as you're seeing right here. And I think for a lot of you out there, if this is peak time for you, and especially with Chinese New Year coming around the corner for event photography coming up in uh, February, you may want to check this out. If you are interested, there is a Black Friday promotion happening right now, giving you very special pricing. Again, it depends on what you want to do. I mean, in terms of the features that you want, what you don't need, you can customize it to your heart's content and definitely do check that out. So with that, guys, like this video, like, subscribe. Thank you for the support. Greatly appreciate it. And I will chat to you all very, very soon. Bye.